On 3rd Street near Townsend in San Francisco, hundreds of Chinese Americans came out with flags. It's uh, very patriotic, you know, for the Chinese community. The hope to send a strong message welcoming Chinese President Xi Jinping. All the Chinese people are very happy to, uh, to see the pres President Xi will be here and uh, we'll have the meeting with the President Biden. And it's a sign of the improvement of uh, relationship between China and the U.S. Demonstrators from various social causes believe APEC is the perfect setting for getting their message across. The economic summit brings heads of states, CEOs, and lots of eyes from around the world. On Sunday, dozens gather to demonstrate, starting at the Embarcadero and heading toward 5th Street and Moscone. On Monday, protesters projected this onto the side of the Embarcadero, calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. And these performers rappelling down the side of the Transamerica Pyramid Building also making the same demands. So as the world watches as President Joe Biden meets with top world leaders like Chinese President Xi Jinping and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, city leaders say they're ready for anything. In San Francisco, you know, we're used to dealing with a lot of protests. Um, you know, throughout the year, we probably have at least one protest somewhere in the city every day. So our officers are really skilled at handling those, facilitating First Amendment activities. The protests during APEC are sure to impact people throughout the city of San Francisco. But having uh, protests in the city at the same time where we have dignitaries in the city is going to make things a little more difficult to get around. Police say they're ready. We've got all hands on deck. We'd have... A um, other agencies from around the state in the Bay Area that are helping us, namely the California Highway Patrol, who sent us, you know, a large number of officers. Last week, the San Francisco chief of police announced that his entire department has been mobilized. This is the first time in decades. Which means every able-bodied officer will be working. And we'll be working 12 to 14 hour shifts. We'll have coverage daytime and nighttime. And our goal is to be prepared for anything and everything that may come our way. And tonight, protesters along Market Street say they're standing in support of Palestinians and again are calling for a ceasefire. Tomorrow morning, climate activists will rally and then march to demand that uh, Citibank and ExxonMobil stop funding fossil fuels. We're live in San Francisco. Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News. Okay.